Hi yogis, thank you for joining me for this intentional wake and bake session. It's Manelli here. Go ahead and grab your favorite herb that you like to smoke on in the morning time if you're choosing to consume cannabis. Maybe take a few hits here noticing how the flower tastes, how it feels, how the effects start to show up with each hit. And for this practice, you might want to have a yoga block. If you don't have one, no worries, but maybe replace it with a stack of books or something. Setting up your space and then coming down onto your back, keeping your energy nice and low, because I'm assuming you're doing this in the morning time or when you've just woken up. So lay down on your back in Savasana pose, ankles nice and wide, relax your shoulders. Relax your jaw and just notice your breath. Inhaling and thinking this is my inhale. Exhaling and thinking this is my exhale. This is my inhale. This is my exhale. For starting your day off in a really grounded space. Lift up your right arm while keeping your elbow on the floor. Imagine you're holding a paintbrush in your hand and you're painting on an imaginary canvas in front of you. It can be anything that you want, any color that you want, just imagining it here. Right, canvas and imagination is a really fun thing to play with, so get crazy, as crazy as you want to. Pick up the left arm, do the same thing, so painting on two canvases. Elbows still low, finding that mobility in your wrist. And then extending your arms up to the sky, but keeping your shoulders rooted to the floor. Maybe the canvases get a little bit bigger, your movement's more dynamic. And now the canvas is more of a globe all over you. You're just painting the entire ceiling, the walls around you. Finding that stretch in your shoulders, in your wrists, in your arms. Moving in any way that feels good. Let's bring the feet into it too. Roll your ankles. Maybe you have little paint brushes in your toes. And you can send the feet up to the sky. Let's just point and flex the feet. Point and flex the hands. Give them some love after a long night of maybe not too much movement. Grab the backs of your thighs and bring your shins parallel to the floor. Keep pointing and flexing your toes, little core engagement. And send your legs and arms back up to the sky, point and flex. Bring your knees in towards your chest, give yourself a hug. Slowly release your legs and make your way up all the way onto your stomach. Setting up for a crocodile pose, so just bringing your hands underneath your chin. Bend your left knee. If you can, reach back with your left hand and get a hold of your left foot, bringing it as close to your bottom as feels good. And if your hand and foot don't quite meet, you can use a strap or just reach back there as if you were touching hand to foot. Maybe coming up a little bit higher, working your left foot into your elbow. Big breath. And then release. Bend the right foot. Let's take frog pose on the other side. Reaching back with your hand or a strap. Checking in with the quality of your breath. Breath above everything. So trying not to sacrifice the quality of your breath for perceived depth in the pose. 
be gentle with yourself and let your body be in a position where your breath can still flow freely. Maybe working your foot into that elbow if this side has the room. Gently releasing without slingshotting that right foot back. Right, coming out as mindfully as you came into the pose. Bring your forehead onto the mat and extend your arms forward. On your inhale, lift up your left leg, your whole thigh bone, reach your toes back. Exhale, lower the leg. Inhale, lift up your head and your right arm, reach forward. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up the left leg, point the toes back. Exhale, lower. Inhale, right hand lifts again, lengthen the back of your neck, and lower. This time, inhale, lift up the left foot, right arm, pulling in opposite directions, coming onto the soft part of your belly. Exhale, to lower. Inhale, right leg lifts back. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, lower. Inhale, right. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, both lift, pull in opposite directions. Back of the neck long, gaze down. And then exhale, lower down. Inhale, let's come up to Locust Pose. So lift up both arms, both legs. Come to the soft part of your belly. Reach the legs back, the arms forward, lower down. Inhale, lift up everything. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, extend. Exhale, lower down. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes, lift up through the thighs and then come up to plank pose. Shift back to downward facing dog as you exhale. Bending your knees, shaking your head out no, nodding your head yes. And then bend your knees a lot, gaze in between your hands, walk up to the top. Halfway lift, hands to the shins, flat back. Then exhale, fold. If you have a yoga block, grab it, bring it right underneath your face. Place your right hand onto it. Bend your right knee a lot. If you don't have a block, just place your right hand on the floor. Slowly reach your left hand up to the sky in a little twist. Keeping your hips level, so not sending your left hip back in space, but keep pulling your left thigh forward. Then slowly Release left hand to the floor or your block and switch sides. Bend the left knee a lot, straighten through the right end. Reach your right fingertips up to the sky. Taking your belly button and ribs and right shoulder over to the right, as well as your arm. Slowly release your right hand down. Bring your hands to your hips, inhale, lift up flat back, and come up all the way to standing. Bring your arms back to your sides, palms facing forward, and just notice your breath. Step your feet as wide as your mat, turn your toes outwards and your heels in. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, maybe your palms touch. Exhale, sink down to Malasana pose, just bending the knees slightly. Inhale to come up. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper, knees pointing in the same direction as your toes. Come up. Exhale, sink a little bit lower, getting into the hips. Inhale, come up. And then exhale, sink into your deepest variation of Malasana pose. Letting your bottom float in space or you can sit on top of your block. Mm. 
pressing your elbows into your knees, your knees into your elbows. Lifting your heart up into your thumbs, connecting with your breath here. Root into your feet and come up to standing at the top of your mat in mountain pose. On your inhale, reach your hands up to the sky, mountain. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, create space in each of your vertebrae, shoulders away from your ears. And exhale, both hands to the floor, step back to plank. Keep the back of your head in line with your hips. Lowering down, half plank, shift forward, shoulders in line with your elbows. Inhaling to upward facing dog. Lifting your thighs, shoulders away from your ears. Then exhale, downward facing dog. Rolling over your toes, pressing your heart towards your thighs. Walk your hands back to your feet. Lift up halfway as you inhale. Exhale, fold inwards. Inhale, come up, reach your arms up and over. And exhale, thumbs towards your heart. Step your right foot forward, bringing your feet to heel to heel alignment. Your right toes point to the top of your mat. Your left toes point to the top left corner of your mat. Keep your hands on your hips just for balance and engage your inner thighs. Squeeze them in towards each other as if you have a block there. Reach your arms up to the sky. Lower down halfway flat back. Inhale here. Then exhale lower fingertips to the floor or your blocks. That would be really nice to have here. Inhale, lifting up halfway. Keep your hands on the blocks or keep your arms in front of you for extra counterweight. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up halfway, drawing the belly button in as you do this. Exhale to lower down. Settle into pyramid pose, both hands on the floor or your blocks. You're welcome to take a little bend in that right knee as to not lock it out. Slowly lift up halfway, maybe shifting your block so it's a little bit easier. Bringing your hands underneath your shoulders. Reach your right arm up to the sky as if you're doing that twist that we did in the beginning and take some arm circles, opening up through your shoulder girdle, your collarbones, Sinking your movement with your breath. Stay in that twist for a moment the next time you find it. Maybe look up at your right hand. And then turn all the way over to the left. Taking a straddle forward fold. So pivot your left toes towards the left and turn your right toes inwards as well. You can rest your hands on the block, your head on the block as well. Bringing your feet as wide as feels comfortable. And the alignment of your feet is up to you as well. Some people like their heels more in. Some people like their toes more turned in. Wherever you are, just notice where your top of your thighs meets your bottom. And work on lifting that part up to the sky. That way your spine can lengthen a little bit more. Inhaling, lifting up halfway, bringing your hands to your hips and coming up all of the way, nice and slow. Heel toe your feet together and just notice how your right leg is feeling compared to your left. Maybe one side feels a little bit more open. Feel free to stay here in mountain pose, breathing or take another hit of flower here if it feels appropriate. Staying mindful, staying present. And let's take pyramid pose on the other side. Left foot forward this time, aligning the heels. The right toes are pointing towards the top right corner of your mat. Reach your arms overhead, lower down halfway. 
and then exhale lower down all the way fingertips to the floor or your block inhale lifting up halfway keep your hands on the floor or reach your arms forward then exhale lower down inhale to lift and lengthen exhale to lower inhale lift up exhale lower down to a pyramid pose inner thighs squeezing towards one another reaching the top of your head down towards your block lift up halfway hands to the block or the floor slowly lift up the left hand and find those circles reaching your left hand to the top of your mat as you inhale circling the fingertips towards the floor all the way back and up so it's trickier than it looks to stay balanced in this pose so stay present Next time that left arm reaches up, find your twist, your twisting pyramid. Keep drawing your left hip back as if you have a little hook on your hip, drawing it back towards the back of the room. And then pivot all the way to the right for a straddle forward fold. Take that previous variation that we did or interlace your fingers behind your back keep your fists on your lower back or choose to take a shoulder stretch by lifting your hands off of your lower back a little inversion to light up the day relax your shoulders the base of your skull If your fingers are interlaced, slowly come up with one movement. Slowly heel toe your feet back together and let's meet at the top of the mat again. And you can also use the wall for this. We're gonna take a standing twist. Go ahead and bring your right knee up to one legged mountain and then turn all the way towards that right leg holding your right leg with your left hand and reaching your right arm back into space so that's a little bit more engaged a bit more energizing if you're doing this at a wall you'll need your block too and you'll come to one legged mountain just as we did and instead of using your leg only here you'll use the wall as support so you can focus more on the twist rather than the leg strengthening your right foot can stay on the block or you can keep your right foot lifted find whatever twist works here for you slowly releasing if you're not using the wall trying to maintain your balance coming out mindfully and then find your way on the left side and I'll do this side without the wall just so we can honor wherever you are today looking over your left shoulder lengthening the tailbone down towards the earth deepest breath you've taken all day giving yourself a little smile even not taking yourself so seriously and then release feet back to the floor hands in front of your heart let's take one last vinyasa inhale mountain exhale fold inhale to halfway lift exhale plank pose choosing to come down knees chin chest or high to low plank 
Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Roll over your toes. Come down onto your knees. Take a cross-legged seat. Maybe sitting on top of your blocks so that your hips can be higher than your knees. And maybe choosing one last opportunity here to sit in stillness and smoke some of your herb. Checking in with the effects of how you're feeling physically, mentally. So you can keep your elevated state intentional and in a feel-good space. Sit here for as long as you want, for as long as you need. And I thank you for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.